Hey, 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 it's Rosemary here. How you doing? Let's talk about seven toxic behaviors that people who know they are loved, and that needs to be all of us, right, would never indulge. Now, being loved, it is your right. In fact, it is what happens right now. Feeling loved is a choice. Sometimes people wait for some special person to come along and save the day and tell them how loved they are, and then they latch all their hopes and dreams onto this one person, not realizing that is too much for any one person to handle, okay? It's too much pressure. And usually if you hold too tight to anything or anyone, if you're too attached, you will lose it, okay? You will lose it. You will think it's because you're not lovable, but it has nothing to do with that. It's because you're looking for love in the wrong place, okay? Unless, of course, you're in partnership with another needy person who's like you, so both of you are kind of feeding each other's need until one person gets fed up or whatever. Who knows? It's just a very unhealthy relationship. Now, the deliberate life is about choosing to know that actually right now in this moment, you're surrounded and covered and kept by love, even though you may not necessarily immediately feel it. Actually, I've just moved the camera. It might just have moved me off my head. No, um, even though you may not actually feel it, it is the truth. It is the truth. And, and there's a part of you that resonates with that truth. And it's a deliberate choice then to do whatever you need to do to clear the path. And that is what I'm very good at. I help people with this. It's really clearing all the blocks and the beliefs that are in the way of you knowing and choosing to know that you are absolutely loved, that the universe, the, your angels, your higher power, God, spirit, I personally call him Papa, whatever you want to call it ultimately, is already showering you with love. You need to choose that. But as I said, it's all these limiting beliefs, blocks, cause you to think you're alone. You are not alone. You've never been. You simply need to choose to open your heart to the love that is all around you, okay? It's not easy to do when you felt hurt and wounded by people and events. I get that. I've definitely been there, okay? I still catch things and I have to work on that, okay? But this is it. We need support sometimes. Everybody needs support in this area, but most people try to tell themselves that they're okay alone. And so they stay stuck in nonsense for far longer than they need to be. That's one of the reasons why I created the Deliberate Success Immersion Incubator. You can find out more about that at rosemaryloninight.com forward slash DSI. And I created a very cost-effective investment because I know that some of this stuff takes time to heal through. So there's no quick in and out, not one three-hour <laughs> class that is going to sort out all of this stuff because you can learn all the tips, the tricks, and the strategies. But if you don't come from a foundation of love, there is trouble. So, you know, I've created a space for anyone who will be wise enough to know that, you know what, you've hit a glass ceiling. If you want to go over to the next level for you, you're going to have to work through this stuff. So if you, you know, for people that know that they need that extra something in order to choose to act from a place of love, to come, you can come and be part of this incubator because it's the only way to experience true prosperity. You know what, otherwise I myself would still be a pharmacist living to my limitations. Now, clients I've worked with would still be hiding in their businesses instead of opening up new branches, showing up more powerfully in the world, hiding in jobs that didn't, didn't satisfy them instead of writing and creating and increasing their income by doing the thing that they're actually here to do. Stuck in past relationships that had broken down. And me, even if the relationship had, had uh, you know, when people don't feel loved, they, even when the relationship is broken down, they take the hurt into their current existence. And so they're not able to open their heart up to a new relationship. But this is stuff that we work through. Stuck in addictive behaviors instead of free to deliberately design a life that they love. Stuck at a pay, 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 <laughs> a pay bracket a lot less than what they deserve instead of boldly owning their worth and getting incredible pay rises. Now, these are things that clients have experienced as a result of tapping into the fact that they are, in fact, loved. So what are the toxic behaviors that you need to stop doing if you are indulging them? Number one. People who know they're loved would not allow doubt to rule their day. People who feel loved from their core know that doubt is a killer of dreams. They choose not to indulge it. They know they are fully supported and loved, and so they need no longer hold back. Even if they think they've made, they might make a mistake, okay? They take action anyway. They move forward. They ask for guidance, intuitive guidance, as well as, you know, from a coach or accountability partner or whatever, and they act on it. Number two. People who know they are loved will not allow other people's opinions or other people's plans to determine their path. If you know that you're supported and cared for, would you really allow some person's approval mean so much to, the, to you that you stifle your own desires and vision in order to keep them happy with you? I don't think so. Would you try to keep up appearances? I don't think so. 
loved people pursue their own interests regardless of other people's opinions or even other people's plans for them, okay? Number three, people who know they are loved would not allow religious dogma determine their spiritual connection. For so long, I didn't feel loved by my higher power. I felt judged. So I used religious dogma, my family's religious demands, to determine for me what my relationship with Papa should look like, should look like. It wasn't real. It was duty. I was trying to tick all the boxes so I didn't go to hell for all eternity. <laughs> love, choosing to feel loved, because I'd always been loved. Choosing to feel loved changed all of that. When I really knew how loved I was, I threw out all the nonsense and built a new foundation for true connection to source. Seeing that this is the most important connection you will ever have in your life, I suggest you question whatever it is that you're believing that is keeping you away from a very intimate connection. Okay? Number four. People who know that they're loved would not indulge thoughts of being alone. When you think you're alone, you procrastinate. You're too scared to make mistakes because it would only be you picking up all the pieces. You don't allow yourself to live out the calling on your life because you just gotta get by, okay? When you know you're loved and fully supported, you're more daring, more able to take the dreams from within and bring them to life. Number five, people who know they are loved would not see vulnerability as weakness. Now, people who live in a hostile world are their own worst enemy. They build high towers around themselves, pretend to have it all together, and therefore prevent themselves from living life to the full. I was that person for a very long time. They think everyone is out to get them, and so they refuse to ever let their guard down. And so no one can really truly love them, because no one ever really sees their heart. In the work that I do, I get so many people sending me private messages, but never then taking the next step, because they're scared of being vulnerable. They, their need to, to appear super strong all the time means that they never allow themselves to experience healing. And so their internal blocks stay until they choose to open the door to support. Some even know they need to, you know, get support and things like that. They come into places like the DSI and then they climb up, they lurk, and they refuse to share what is really happening, what they're really going through. And so nothing changes, at least not for a while. If they're wise, however, they'll stick around until my persistence in showing up and loving them breaks down the walls, and it does. It could be easier and quicker, but you know what? Even spirit won't force your hand. Mine is just to keep showing up and giving you the opportunity to reach out for healing. Go and find out about the DSI. Although, actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. So spirit won't move your hand. I wrote a post about that not so long ago. You should look for it on my site or look for it in Google. Rosemary Nonny Knight and spirit will not force your hand. You'll find it, okay? Number six. People who know they are loved would not passively blame others for their foundation, uh, misfortune, not foundation, will not passively blame others for their misfortune. When you know you're loved, it's not scary to take full responsibility for your life, even the horrid stuff. You know there's grace enough for you, and so you need not try to blame something or someone else for where you are in life. You'll know that all you need to do is ask for support from your intuition and start afresh to create a new experience of life. Loved people know they're not victims of circumstance. They know there's always a way, because love always makes a way, okay? The unloved think they need saving, think everything is against them, think that a mistake could take them out for good. They're too scared to take full responsibility because deep down they already feel unworthy and insufficient to the task. And so it's easier to blame and pretend to have no choice. And so they remain stuck. Now, it's not true. They, they are sufficient to the task. The thing is, when I felt unloved and lived my life very passively, I was a pharmacist, okay? So I was very capable. And to the world, I even had it all together. But I blamed my upbringing for my inability to live the life I actually wanted to live. And that gave me an out from ever trying. So no, this is not the territory for the weak, okay? So I don't think it's only the weak people that think this way. No, I've never been weak, but I have been passive. Okay. Number seven, people who know they are loved would not need to put others down or see some, see themselves as superior. When you know you're loved, you give up judgment. You don't need to judge anyone anymore. You're not in competition with anyone and you know you have your own flaws anyway. So why bother shining the light on the flaws of another person? <laughs> you live a life of abundance where there is more than enough for everyone who is willing to do what it takes to step into it. You are a creator. You're not a competitor. Okay. Now, I could go on about the differences between people who know that they're loved and people who don't, but enough for now. I ask you to be honest. Do you see yourself in any of these seven things? And are you willing to consider change? I invite you to work with me now in the Deliberate Success Immersion Incubator and choose to immerse yourself in love. 
Find out more and join in now at rosemaryloni9.com forward slash deliberate success. There is more that you are here to experience and create. You know it. The pain from your past holds you stuck, holds you stuck in an experience of life that is so limited and it's time to break free into prosperity in all areas. And I don't care how successful you already are. As I said, I was a pharmacist. I was fairly successful, but I'm still quite stuck. Let's speak to each other once a week live over the phone. Let's be in the incubator daily together as I immerse you in love. Get access to an ever-growing library of training and inspiration to keep the immersion going all through your day. No longer do you need to feel so alone trying to work life out and figure yourself and your path out. No longer do you need to settle for an existence that looks good on the outside but feels bad on the inside of you. You are born for more. Today is the day to claim it. So go join me right now in the Deliberate Success Immersion Incubator where you're getting a significant discount on entry. Um, it's at rosemarynonynight.com forward slash deliberate success. Much amazing love. Till the next time. Bye.